Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to make a fun dino-shaped piggy bank. Originally, I saw something similar to this project online, and I thought it looked like something really fun to build. I like that it's so versatile that you can make it any shape and any size that you want. For me, I'm going to be making a dinosaur. To make mine, I'm going to be using 3 quarter inch plywood, and I'm going to actually layer it in three different layers. The middle layer is going to be the main body with a tail, neck, and head, and the two outer layers are going to have the legs. That way they'll be separated a little bit and it'll be able to stand up on its own. Let's get into it. I decided to just freehand the design that I wanted for this bank, and that's the cool part about this project is you can make it any shape or any kind of design you want. Now because my design has so many curves and angles on it, I decided to use plywood because if I use something with a grain, there's the potential of maybe the neck of my dinosaur or the tail to snap off if it was ever dropped. So the safest is going to be using plywood for me, uh, but if your design has less curves in it, then go ahead and use a nice hardwood. Plus, in the end, I think I'm going to end up painting mine, so it's really not going to matter anyways. easier if I cut both sides the same but I really wanted the legs to be offset from each other a little bit so that's why I decided to just template out both individually and cut them out separately. Using the table saw this way is a little unorthodox, but I really don't have another way to trim plywood like this with these angles. So I'm just going to be really, really careful, take my time, and just pay attention to what I'm doing. The easiest way to sand these pieces would be with a drum sander, which I do not have. So I picked up a couple of these from the local hardware store. Uh, they're bits that fit in a drill or a drill press and it's a bunch of layers of sandpaper. It works really well. That's what I'm going to be using. And there it is all put together and sanded and formed. Now all we need to do is put a slot in the top and a hole in the bottom to retrieve the money back out and a piece of plexiglass over the front.
the plug in the bottom, I'm just using a PVC plug that I found in the plumbing aisle at the hardware store. I made sure to drill my hole just a little bit smaller than the outer diameter of my plug, and that way I can shave my plug down to just the right size, and that way it'll be a really tight fit. I used a rabbit bit in my router to make a groove in the surface of the wood for the plexiglass to sit down into because I wanted the plexiglass to be flush with the surface of the wood. But this is completely optional. If you don't have a router or you don't have a rabbit bit, then you can just cut your plexiglass to be the same size as the top surface of your wood and glue it right down to the top surface. The plexiglass I'm using for this project I got in a pack of five off of Amazon. I'll make sure to leave a link in the comments below. The plexiglass I'm using is really thin and extremely easy to cut. I'm using a Dremel to cut mine, but you don't need a Dremel to cut this. You can easily cut it with a jigsaw with a fine blade or even a table saw if you're just cutting a square piece. Now I thought it would be a lot of fun to add a pop of color on my dino bank, so I'm going to paint it a really deep blue. Once the paint was dry, I just used some E6000 to glue the plexiglass panel in place. Stop. Okay, now it's finished. And there you have it, our dino shaped piggy bank is finished and I love the way that this came out. Um, there was some little extra sanding that could have been done around these tight curves but the paint covered that for the most part so I'm not really worried about it. This plexiglass stuck here really nice and tight with that E6000 so there's no worries about the weight of the money ever pushing that out. And this plug with that friction fit is so tight, no worries of that ever sliding out either. All in all, this was so much fun to make, uh, really versatile, you could make it any shape or any size that you want, and I love the pop of blue, it just looks really cool. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. If you want to see all our other projects, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.